This is the Coin Market Cap Update with your host, Crypto Keith. We'll see which coins are leading and which coins are falling behind, which coins are good to buy and which coins are good to sell. So stay tuned for another interesting episode. Hey, what's up, guys? Checking out the cryptocurrency market caps here, and we see that the market cap has passed $200 billion for all cryptocurrencies. It was under 200,000 yesterday, and now it's 204. Point six eight eight. So a lot more people have put money into cryptocurrencies for a couple reasons, and we'll check that out to see what's in the news. But first of all, we're going to do a quick review of what's going on in the market here. So looking at price, we have Bitcoin and then Bitcoin Cash and Dash and Ethereum underneath it with BitConnect there. These are some strong, solid cryptocurrencies right here. These are the cryptocurrencies that are going to move us into uh, 2000, the beginning of 2008 and, and still be solid for a long time, I, I believe. These are the cryptocurrencies of 2017 right here. So Bitcoin Cash, is the next best thing to Bitcoin if we look at the price. So this is a good sign, uh, especially when Bitcoin Cash can be a lot more useful to you for different ways, and we'll go over that too in this video. So for change, we have top change, B3 coin, almost 100% change. So uh, it's basically almost doubled. We have open trading that's 68%, 70% change. And B3 coin is still really cheap. Open trading is around $36. So we have open trading here, $36. We have it on Live coin exchange, Cryptopia and Ether Delta. And if we check out their website, Open Trading Network, Uniting the Crypto World, Open Trading Network, the first platform that offers cross chain technology to unite all blockchain networks and market participants and ensure their best interests. So they distribute uh, certain tokens here. So you get free tokens for participating. It might be just owning tokens or uh, something else. Maybe investors get free tokens on their emissions, uh, emission week. What is OTN? It's the first 100% collateralized decentralized exchange which will allow full secure fully secure exchange between the blockchain network OTN foundation is committing itself to develop the network described in the white paper and also several applications to help different stakeholders to benefit from the network I guess we'll watch it blockchain is taking over the planet dozens of blockchain based projects and currencies are released almost daily Networks solve many problems, but they do not know how to perform transactions between each other. They are completely isolated. Back in the 80s, corporate and university networks were isolated from each other until the rise of the Internet, which generated a huge number of new industries. It revolutionized how we buy things, how we communicate, 
and how we get information. Now we are creating a network that will unite isolated blockchain networks. The Open Trading Network. Yeah, so now I understand a bit of what OTN is trying to do. So also we have B3 coin here. So if we check this B3 coin out, it's still uh, an amazing time to buy, guys. Really cheap, but you have to look at the the circulating supply too, and compare that to the price because the the more tokens there are in circulation, the lower the cost per to uh, per token. So the lower each token's value will be because the value is split up uh, to more more parts. So we see here that there is a lot of tokens. So there's 18 billion B3 tokens. And they've basically released all of the tokens that they're going to release. To me, this just by looking at this, it seems like a pump and dump coin. And then we look down here at the markets and that's what it looks like to us as well. We had a massive spike in volume here, but that could have been uh, due to the price rising. So people buy in, buy in, buy in. Everyone buys when the price is high. Nobody buys when the price is low. Well, very few people buy when the price is low or the volume is low. And we see here we're just having some volume now. So. We can't really judge it just by that, so let's check out the website a little bit. B3 Coin. The official home of B3 Coin. Anti instamine, no primine, no ICO, no IPO. Our aim is to create the most profitable and see the most profitable and rewarding proof of stake coin in the crypto world. We are working on a lot of new developments with our coin and want you to join us and help us build this community. Yeah, they need you to build this community. Their coin will be worth nothing unless you buy it. We have active developers, designers, and dedicated support that believe in the future of B3. B3 coin currently offers staking rewards of 10,000% per annum. So 10,000% per year. It's kind of kind of looks to me like it's a bit of a anti-inflation uh, model. Script algorithm POS, secure and fast, up to 10,000% staking. So it's available on crypto, BitcoinExchange.io and Nova Exchange. It's B3 coin. So yeah, to me it just looks like a pump and dump coin. It looks like a, co a coin created to prof make profit. That's about it. <laughs> so that's what this coin is. When I looked at the top losses, we see uh, we did a review of Power Ledger yesterday and uh, ATM Chain and Singular TV, DTV. We've done. So let's do. Repio Credit, Green Mining, see, another uh, Australian hydro co uh, power company. They're all coming out of Australia for some reason. I guess the regulations aren't as strict there or their, their government's working with them a lot more. So we can see here it's worth about 12 cents. It is on Bitrex, Hubi, and Ether Delta. Looking at the chart here, we can see that it's getting a lot of volume now, just recently, and the price is going up because of it. And if you would have bought it a few days ago, you would have doubled your money. So, if you bought it actually two days ago, 
you would have doubled your money. So that's pretty interesting. I think half it's due to the fact that it just came on to the coin market cap website and so keep your eye open for that coins that just come on there a lot of people are going to see them for the first time and read up on them and buy so we see it's a global peer-to-peer -peer credit network based on co-signed smart contracts so borrowers we have here and lenders we have here so it might be kind of like a lending coin the token sale has ended May 2016 they launched their TechCrunch Disrupt at Tech, TechCrunch Disrupt June they uh, did their first Rapido credit payment on the private network January 2017 concept design and research for RCN their token September website launch and white paper release October their token sale and network release December um, which is coming up here they are doing an advanced smart contracts and network agents plus SDK implementation April they're doing uh, RCN goes live so they enable connections between lenders and borrowers smart con contract driven what I'm wondering about these uh, borrowing uh, Bitcoin borrowing companies is so say I apply to borrow Bitcoin how do they enforce the people that borrow to actually pay it back but we see with the way that the current credit system works with cash stores and uh, quick payday loans it could work about, uh, almost the same way as that the good thing about the blockchain and smart contracts is you can you can create a pool of data on people so you can easily access things um, data points that will tell you whether they have good credit or not or whether you should lend it to them or not so the blockchain can store this data looks like an interesting coin to get into it might be worth buying but we're gonna move on because there's a lot of news today I'm crypto Keith we'll catch you tomorrow with our crypto market cap review.